Hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel. Before watching the video please subscribe to my channel. This video is about Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin calls Bitcoin Cash a failure. Ethereum's ETH 24-hour gains outstripped those of the Apex coin Sunday evening as the global cryptocurrency market cap fell 1.7% to $2.20 trillion. What happened? ETH traded 1.2% higher at $3,813.87 over 24 hours. For the week, the second largest cryptocurrency has fallen 6.1%. Bitcoin BTC was down 1% at $47,197.64 over 24 hours. Over a 7 day trailing period, it has dropped 6.8%. Meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin Doge inched up 0.4% to 17 cents over 24 hours. It has declined 8.4% for the week. Vanda Poppy said ETH is showing more strength than BTC. He said on Twitter that there is a clear confirmation of a break above the $4,100 level for the second largest coin by market cap. Marcus Sotiru, an analyst at United Kingdom based asset broker Global Block, wrote in a recently emailed note that institutions may reallocate to the crypto space in the first quarter of 2022. In a New Year's Day Twitter thread, Ethereum, Crypto, ETH, co founder Vitalik Buterin shared his thoughts on why Bitcoin Cash, Crypto, BCH, has failed to thrive and look back on the growth of cryptocurrencies. Launched in 2017, Bitcoin Cash surpassed Ethereum, Crypto, ETH, by market capitalization and became popular due to its higher transaction volume and lower fees because of its bigger block size. BCH marked an all-time high of $4,355.62 on December 20, 2017. Bitcoin's decentralization would let it still survive under a super-hostile regulatory climate but it could not thrive. Successful censorship resistance strategy requires a combination of technological robustness and public legitimacy, Buterin tweeted. Ethereum, ETH slash USD, price had a strong performance in 2021 as it did better than Bitcoin. It jumped by 400% during the year as its total market capitalization spiked to more than $500 billion. Why did ETH jump? Ethereum is a blockchain platform that enables developers to build decentralized applications DApps, of all types. It can be compared to Android, the free open source platform created by Google. Developers can build all types of apps and games on top of this platform. Ethereum price prediction The weekly chart shows that the ETH price has done well in the past few months. Recently, however, the bullish trend has lost momentum. It is trading at $3,700 which is about $1,000 below its all-time high. A whale monitoring site reveals that the wealthiest Ethereum ETH, whales are accumulating three decentralized finance DeFi, assets as we enter a new year. Data from whale stats shows that the 1,000 non-exchange Ethereum whales are gobbling up Sushi, the governance token of the decentralized exchange DEX, SushiSwap. Four altcoins with market caps under $1 billion managed to surge exponentially in price within seven days while larger crypto assets finished off 2021 with modest price action. Recording massive gains over the past week is Railgun R -A -I -L, an Ethereum-based project that aims to provide privacy for trading and lending on decentralized exchanges DEXs. Bitcoin bull Anthony Pompliano says higher interest rates in 2022 may have a different impact on BTC's price than what many analysts initially assumed. Pompliano, the co-founder of Morgan Creek Digital, tells CNBC in a new interview that BTC could potentially be correlated to a surprising indicator. A pioneer in the world of blockchain is giving his 2022 prognosis for an altcoin which has had a breakout year both in terms of price and project milestones. In a new blog post, Ethereum co-founder Gavin Wood discusses the future of cross-chain interoperability protocol Polkadot DOT, which he founded in 2016 U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission head Gary Gensler is hiring a crypto advisor as questions persist regarding the nation's regulatory approach to digital assets. Corey Freyer will advise Gensler on SEC policymaking and interagency work relating to the oversight of crypto assets, according to a new press release from the regulator. When you're something just like the overwhelming majority, over 95% of the crypto inhabitants, Bitcoin and Ethereum will fall amongst your high five picks. This goes to point out how widespread each cryptocurrencies are within the crypto house. Relative to Ethereum, Bitcoin appears to be at its peak. For probably the most half, 
it does really feel like Ethereum is barely simply gathering momentum to assert the highest spot by way of worth and market cap. However whereas Bitcoin comes an apparent first on this regard, do you have to decide to purchase Bitcoin as a substitute of Ethereum? Greener mining because of the proof of work mannequin utilized in producing most cryptocurrencies, together with BTC, environmental concerns relating to greenhouse gasoline emissions have been raised. NFT Grand Enabler The current buzz within the crypto house has been round non-fungible tokens. For newbies, NFTs had been made doable as a result of ERC721 normal of the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum's future not like Bitcoin, with solely a neighborhood of voluntary techies, Ethereum has a separate neighborhood of builders working endlessly to assist the ETH blockchain obtain its full potential by creating extra apps and use instances. The year 2021 could go down as the year of many things, including another year that cryptocurrency became more of a mainstream topic and investment. As cryptocurrencies became more talked about, many also gained in value in 2021, including three of the most popular names. Investing $1,000 in BTC, Doge, ETH, a $1,000 investment in each of the three most popular cryptocurrencies would have proven to be a winning trade in 2021. Here's a look at how a hypothetical investment ended in 2021 for each of the three mentioned cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin traded at a high of $29,600.62 on January 1, 2021. A $1,000 investment in Bitcoin on the first day of the year could have bought 0.0338 BTC. Bitcoin ended 2021 at a price of $46,306.45. The $1,000 investment ended 2021 worth $1,565.16. The global crypto market capitalization declined 0.02% to 2.24 trillion US dollars in the last 24 hours, but total trading volume increased by 34.91% to 89.75 billion US dollars. Stable coins accounted for 54.87% of the trading volume at 49.25 billion US dollars, while DeFi accounted for 37.65% at 33.79 billion US dollars. Bitcoin's market share dropped 0.35% to 39.65% this morning. At the time of writing, it is worth $46,977.36. In terms of major cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin fell 0.45% to 3,734,460 rupees, while Ethereum gained 1.19% to 301,747 rupees and 20 pesi. Avalanche fell 2.22% to 8930 rupees, while Cardano increased 0.16% to 107 rupees and 91 pesi. Over the last 24 hours, Polkadot increased 4.54% to 2336 rupees and 41 pesi, while a Litecoin declined 0.2% to 11900 rupees and 71 pesi. Tether gained 0.13% to 79 rupees and 52 pesi. That's all for today's video. If you like the video please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.